Okay, I'm just going to do this small example here. All right, so if we have a look here, we've got I-30 current flowing through this resistor, voltage drop across this resistor, B here, we need to find power, and we have this one, in, so series parallel circuit. So what I've done first, we've done the current total, sorry, resistance total, 1 over 30 plus 50 plus 80 equals 10 ohms, equals 50 ohms complete, so that's what I've broken down here. When we have a look over here, we have the 40 ohms, which is the value of these three resistors here. All right, so what I've done is I've found the current, 200 volts divided by 50 ohms, gave me four amps. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is do the voltage drop. So voltage drop equals I times R. All right, the I I'm gonna use is the four amps. The resistance I'm going to use is the 40 ohms that we had over here. So 4 times 40 ohms equals 160 volts. Okay, so we have voltage drop over the whole lot. So that means that we have now 160 volts across this area here all right so now what i'm going to do now is do the current for i30 right which equals v over r so that'll be 160 volts divided by now don't forget the resistance here is like a series circuit so the current flowing through these two the 160 is across these two resistors all right, so I'm going to have to do 30 plus 50, which equals 160 divided by 80, which equals 2 amps. All right, so that is the answer for that one. All right. Now, voltage drop for this 50, VD50. So the voltage drop for the 50 ohm resistor will equal I times R, so the current is 2 amps, times 50 ohms, equals 100 volts, so that is that one, and the power of 80, the power of 80, is going to equal, now, because don't forget, it's a parallel circuit here, alright, these two are in parallel with this one, and V squared, when we draw before, is for a parallel. This one's for a single. All right. Parallel. So V squared is going to be V squared divided by R. All right. And I've now got um, 160 squared divided by um, the resistance, which is 80. And that will work out to be 1340 watts or something. Not sure, but done on the square back of my head. All right. And we have that answer. I'm, I'm pretty sure that might be right, but I could be wrong. But anyway, but that's how you get to the funny, finished answer. And that is how we do that one. All right. So let's step through it again. Resistance total, got 50 ohms. All right. Did the voltage V over R equals 4 amps. Voltage drop equals I times R, which equals 4 amps times 4, 40. The 40 became the value of all these resistors here. All right. So 40 equals 160. Now I30. I30 is the current flowing through these two resistors here. We said we had to add them together. So when I did this, V over R, we did 160, which is the voltage drop across the two resistors, plus the 30 and 50, equals 160 divided by 80, equals 2 amps. Now, once I had the two amps flowing through here, two through here, two through here, I then had to find the voltage drop of this resistor. Uh, resistor. So, voltage drop for this is I times R, 2 times 50 equals 100 volts. Would have had 60 volts sitting on the 30 because 2 times 30 is, is uh, 60. And the power over here, because this is in parallel, all right, we had the voltage drop over R, so 160 squared divided by 80 equals 1340. I could be wrong on that anyway, but anyway, the bottom line is we've got this formula worked out. All right, 
I'll put this on YouTube and we'll see how we go. Thanks very much.